Well, frankly, my business partner always wanted one because you'd heard about the rigidity, the speed of the machine. And of course, we look at it on, on the internet and we saw how fast they were. And I must admit, now it's in position. Yeah, he made a good choice. So this particular component was taking approximately seven operations. And now we've got this down to two operations. Well, the robot drill in particular, I mean, it's quite easy for me to answer. I love the small footprint of the machine. The, the tool changer is, is so fast and, and the way in which the, the machine moves and the accuracy just shaves minutes off of any cycle time. Yeah, well we went to see our customer on a Friday. We placed the order for the machine that afternoon and the machine was then with us about a week after that and we produced the first parts in less than four weeks. It's twice as fast as the other machines really and it's the quality that we get is the big thing, the quality and the accuracy. Chip to chip time is pretty quick as well, isn't it? Going from tool to tool. <laughs> yeah, it's really fast. When you read around, the sort of general rumour on the street is that BT30 is a bit flaky. To be honest, if nobody told me this is a BT30, you wouldn't know. I run it just like a BT40, slam the tools in nice and hard and cut really fast. Okay, so um, before it was two operations. We did a, a face this way and then a rotary axis here. Uh, it was approximately, again, 25 minutes and now we're down to about, it's less than six minutes. Um, well, as you can see, we've got 10 Bannocks here. Um, and yes, I mean, the, the first one down the bottom there, we purchased, I think it was mid 90s, um, as a sort of drill and tap machine doing uh, telecoms lids. Since then, they've developed over the years and um, with their, their sort of performance and their, their, they're confident in what they can supply us, um, we've gone all the way up to, as you've seen on the other machine, real high skill production, high tolerances achievement. The name implies that the machine is just a drilling and tapping centre, but actually they're a very capable, small, compact machining centre. It's a really, really high spec machine. As you say, with the 1000 block look ahead and the 24K, we can achieve really, really huge feed rates that we maybe wouldn't have otherwise been able to without such a high speed machine with such high specs on it. Well, we, we just we just had to find something that could achieve the tolerance. Um, all the machines we currently have couldn't, couldn't achieve this 20 micron true position. So we called on uh, Rover Drill, Fanic Rover Drill, and they delivered this very shiny machine, as you say, and it came up trumps, basically. I, I originally was looking for a robot provider to upgrade an original machine. It became so cost effective because Fanuc do the machining, they do the four axis tables, they do the robot and the integration all in house. It's just nice and easy, turnkey project, the whole system was delivered as one as a proven product. Um, I think it's the speed of the machine really. It's um, very, very fast, even on the rotary axes. A lot of that rotary axes are quite ponderous when you look at them. This one you blink and you miss it. The upside to the machine is it's double the RPM I was expecting, it's got better finish, it's fast, everything about it is just impressed. You know, milling with 50 and 63 mil face mills, two, three, four mil depths of cut, 40 millimeter U drills. On the advanced machines now we have demonstrations with 50 millimeter U drills in steel. So, you know, the, the machines really have come on leaps and bounds and, and aren't just a drilling and tapping centre. Are we We've dealt with FANUC a long time on controls, mainly on lathes, um, but the robo drill seemed to be the machine to go for for machining small aluminium parts, really. And, and machining them fast. And machining them extremely fast, yes. When I was prototyping the pedal systems, uh, originally we were using a traditional fourth axis machine and manual loading with a two op process. By moving from that machine to this machine, we reduced the cycle time for 600 pedals from around three and a half weeks to three days. And the human time has gone from three and a half weeks of human shift time to about an hour per day. It's just an impressive machine. When you see it at the shows, it's an impressive, you can see it's a high quality machine and we've not been disappointed. Creating really good, accurate parts. So what we need is a really reliable, super accurate machine that we could work to really high tolerances. It's the reliability in the main. We very rarely ever have problems with them.
Um, I really like all the guys who work there. The applications guy is fantastic. The service guy, I really got on with, he's brilliant. And um, Nigel as well, the, the sales person, he's really nice folk. They come in every now and then, they check up on us, which is great really, because we've had other machines and they drop the machine off and then they never, you don't see them again. But as the Bandit guys, they, every week or so, they're popping in and asking how we are and giving us advice. And, and this is your first Fanic machine? It is, yeah. Will it be the last? Probably not.